Hi, everybody, and welcome inside Clemens High School Gym in beautiful Sugar Land. This is BikeFortBend.com Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. We could have a true underdog story on our hands tonight as it is the Clements Rangers facing the Ridge Point Panther girls who are state ranked and have not yet lost a district match. They are 29 and 10 on the year, but they have smoked everyone thus far in District 21 6A. They have talented players throughout, but Clements has some talent too, and they are very smart about the way they play volleyball. Our coverage tonight is brought to you by Xfinity, home of the 10G, next generation network only from Xfinity. The future starts now. Also by First Tower and Automotive, with four great Fort Bend County locations. And by Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider of VibeFortBend.com, and we are so excited to have our new sponsor on hand. It is Love Houston. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston, specifically Fort Bend County, the Fort Bend Epicenter, and they are our sponsor for the rest of their first inaugural season. I guess that's kind of uh, kind of uh, redundant, isn't it? First inaugural. I didn't need to say inaugural if I said first. Anyway, love Houston. We love you already. Thank you so much for being with us, and we'll be right back with the Countdown to First Serve show. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School. We'll be back right after this. Introducing Love Houston, professional volleyball like you've never seen it before. You saw them win silver in Paris this summer. Now you can see them playing for the first time on American soil. Love Houston will feature some of the best pro players in the world, including two-time Olympic medalists Jordan Thompson and Micah Hancock. Get ready for first serve in January 2025. Visit lovb.com for tickets. Volleyball is the next major league. It's fall, y'all. Head over to First Tire and Automotive for a free tire pressure and tread depth check. There's a store right around the corner from you in the Sugar Land area. First Tire and Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. A full synthetic oil change to $60. Oh, my. And more savings on the website. Book your appointment today at firsttireandauto.com. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive, four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Welcome, everybody, to the Countdown to First Serve show. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School, and Louise Kreit of Ridgepoint joins us. And Coach... Your team seems to have um, really started to dominate district opponents. Was that just something that was a result of the process, you being in your first year and those talented players kind of coming together? Um, I think it's a combination of everything. The players coming together, gelling together, building that new chemistry. They graduated a lot of players last year, but we still got some key players that came back. Kennedy Rogers, Jaden Robinson, Taylor um, Johnson. And so getting those players and the new players to varsity to kind of gel. All right. Well, I'd like to mention as many players as possible, but, you know, you mentioned Kennedy Rogers and this is kind of a strange comparison. You know, there's a, a player for, for Kempner, a boys tennis player. When he hits the ball, it sounds different than all the other people on the court. You know who I'm talking about? It's a big district. It's okay if you don't. And no, I don't know. No, I don't His know. His name is Noe Doe. Oh, Noe. Yes. And he's won three singles titles. Yes, and he's going yes, for four yes. this year. So I will be surprised if he doesn't get it. But when Kennedy hits the ball, it sounds different. Don't you agree? Uh, yeah, she's got power, and not a lot of kids have power. Um, and that's what makes her one of the top players in the Houston area because it's hard to defend that, even blocking and digging. you got to kind of watch out for the ball when you're blocking and digging the ball. So um, that's a big component for us with having an arm like that where we can terminate, and when we need to go to her, she's there to terminate the ball. And really, I, I did notice that she leads the team in kills, and she's second on the team in digs. So you know, I think there there might be some players who are just so good at the kill that they don't really do that much digging, but she does it and that's amazing. So um, let me ask you about this, something that 
frankly, I don't know if you let her do it anymore. But I love to watch it because I'm not a coach. It's just entertaining. The, the serve where she throws it up about 15 feet. Do you yeah. still let her do that? Her top spin. We actually had a match last week against Dulles, and she served 23 points, and 19 of those points were aces with her top spin. So it's a, it's a great thing to watch. When she's on with it, she's on. She scores a lot of points for us with it, and it's a very tough serve to receive. So we're excited about that, having her master that serve, and that's going to help us in the playoffs to get a lot of points from it. I asked a similar question of Coach LaFavors about football. When your quarterback just runs all the time, do you ever tell him to not do that? And he said, no, I let him do whatever he thinks is going to work. And so there's no uh, yeah. limit on how high yeah. she can toss the ball on the serve. Yeah, there's no limit. Um, she feels it. She's been playing this game for a while. And so when she's like, Coach, I'm going to go for it. I'm like, go for it. And she knows, depending on the game and how competitive it is, um, when she needs to kind of dial down just a little bit. But for the most part, she's a competitor. And when she sees blood on the other side, she's going to go for it. All right. It kind of reminds me of the baseball movie Bull Durham. You remember when Crash Davis tells his pitcher, just hit the mascot with the next pitch. <laughs> and he does. And he says to the batter, I swear to God, I don't know where the next one's going. <laughs> and that's kind of the way I think of Kennedy's serve that comes in so hot. Yeah. She may miss it once in a while, but when it's in, they have yeah. a hard time returning it. Yes, when it's in, it's in. And um, when you play a team that's not have a good ball control, that's where we earn most of our points. But that's one of our secret weapons that we have. And whenever we need to pull it out, she pulls it out. So it's a great thing to watch even being a coach and being a fan and just watching her go all the way and just serve for that many points in a row with the same intensity and power. So it was great to watch when we played Dulles. We're with Louise Cried of Ridgepoint, and um, just one final question. You may say, I haven't even thought about it, but with the UIL realignment, you're not playing Katie schools in the first round. Have you thought about possible matchups with who you might see in the first round? Well, right now we're looking at Parolin or Dawson, so it's still going to be a competitive match. I think for us, going big school, we're not going to escape the competition. Uh, we just got to be ready for the competition. And Parolin and Dawson, they're two great, awesome schools, awesome programs. Um, we also have a great program, so it'll be a great matchup. But we're ready for the challenge. Well, I, I think it's kind of a shame. There's really nothing anyone can do about it. That Ridgepoint, Parolin, Dawson, and Fulcher, all but one of those are probably going to be eliminated after three rounds. And that's the thing about this uh, new realignment. You're seeing competition right off the bat, and great schools are going to get eliminated. And depending on who you're lined up with, some of the schools that probably wouldn't make it that far in the original format may go far. But that's why you got to show up and take care of business. Well, I'll be rooting for the purple team, <laughs> no matter what. Thank you, the Purple Cats. <laughs> All right, and there are also some Purple Chargers, some Purple Horses, but uh, we'll we'll address that when we need yeah. to. Yeah. Thank you, Coach Thank Kreit. You. Great to have that visit with Coach Kreit in the Countdown to First Serve show. And not sure if we'll be able to talk to Amber Brooks of Clements, but we will do our very best. This is VibeFortBend.com Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Welcome back to the Countdown to First Serve show. We're inside the Clements Gym, and Amber Brooks is the head coach of the Clements Rangers, whose team, by the way, I just dodged a ball. That's why I, I suddenly sounded like I was panicking. Anyway, the, uh, the Clements Rangers are taking on the Ridgepoint Panthers. Nobody has beaten Ridgepoint in a district match this year. So, Coach Brooks, is there anything that uh, you've done here on campus to maybe just get as many Clements rooters to show up as possible? You know, we talk about that all the time, and we talk to our kids uh, just about getting their fit friends and family and everybody they can to come out. But 
um, you know, it, it, it's hard. It, if if they don't come out, they don't come out. And I tell the kids they've got to be able to do it even without the fans. So, um, so hopefully we'll have more supporters today. It looks like uh, they're trickling in a little by little. So hopefully we'll get some more out here. You know something, uh, I, I, it was hard to get your attention because you were visiting with a beautiful baby. Yes. Tell us about that baby and her wonderful family, all in the Clements family. Yes, so that's our Clements baby right now. She uh, is Coach Lauren Burgers, our uh, coordinator at, here at Clements High School. It's her little girl. It's her first baby, and um, she literally brings her around all the time, and we love it. Family is huge for us, and um, so just like when my kids are in the gym, we want her, her kids and all the other coaches' kids to be in the gym. Um, I, uh, when my kids are in the gym, our our, our girls are really, really, really great with children, um, and they love on them, and they just make them feel like a, a part of the family um, already. So uh, with the baby, we love on her. We love her being here, um, and I think it gets the girls in good spirits, ready to go. It's always a beautiful sight for so many reasons, including sometimes those babies grow up to be great athletes Absolutely. that are fun to watch. Absolutely. You know, both of my babies are athletes already, so... Uh, I can only imagine her mom being a coach. She'll probably be an athlete as well. <laughs> All right. Well, I know you're having trouble with your voice and everything. You need to save it for the match. Thank Thanks you. for visiting with us, and good luck tonight. If you can pull this off, uh, I think they're going to storm the court. <laughs> well, thank you, and we look forward to it. But we, we definitely are, are, are in the right direction of, of trying to get that win. Vanderbilt, Alabama football, you I know, know. You, you never know. You never know. <laughs> thank you. All right, that is Amber Brooks, and we are done with the Countdown to First Serve show. Glad to have you with us on VibeFortBend.com. Roger Smith along with Rosie Bega, the silent partner inside the mothership at Vibe World Headquarters. We'll be right back. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. Lee Netty Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lee Netty Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lee Netty Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. That is Ridgepoint grad Matt Leonetti of Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider of VipeFortBend.com. And here inside the Clements Gym, they're about to introduce the Ranger girls. So let's talk about what these two teams have going for them. Kennedy Rogers is the strongest of the killers on ridge points he has 4.1 kills per set 468 total to lead the team but Jaden robinson with 2.8 per set is no slouch herself and then there is addison menifee who brings in 1.5 kills per set for clements the best killer is maggie myers with 2.6 percent 266 total on the year and samantha van right behind her in the frequency of kills with 2.5 per set. Jaden Robinson and Taylor Johnson lead the Panthers in hit percentage with 308 and 301 uh, respectively, and Samara Parahar, who is the most imposing physical figure on the Clements squad, she leads her team in kill percentage, or hit percentage rather, with 230. In blocks, it is Taylor Johnson and Jaden Robinson. They are great at hit percentage, they are great at blocks. Taylor Johnson with 127, Jaden Robinson with 117 blocks, and Zia Sista 
has 58. She's third on the team in that category. And Parahar for Clements leads her team in blocks with 56. When it comes to digs, it is Maddie Flores with 3.9 per set to lead Ridgepoint, 441 total for Maddie. But Kennedy Rogers, who's so good at the spiking, is just as good at the digging, 3.2 per set and 361 on the season. And Emma Levy is the leader for Clements with 337 on the season. Kennedy Rogers, 61 aces, including that tomahawk type of serve where she throws it about 15 feet up in the air, and when she gets it, Within the boundaries, it is almost impossible to return. Piper Marquette has 35. She's a, an outstanding young player who will be, uh, I guess, a, a real cornerstone for Ridgepoint in seasons to come. And Madeline Johnson has 32 aces for the Panthers. Kiki Zhang has 61 aces for Clements to lead the team. And Kiki Zhang also leads her team in assists with 712. And her sister Alice has 89. All right, we are just about ready to go. Clements is going to be receiving from the north end of the court here inside the Clements gym. They're wearing their sleeveless white jersey tops with the navy and Carolina blue and the navy shorts and Ridgepoint in the basic black. No frills uniforms with just your black shorts and your black t-shirts that say Ridgepoint across the front. Their main color is purple, but we don't see any purple in their uniforms tonight. So on the floor for Clements, Maggie Duvall, Maggie Myers, Samantha Van, Bella Casal, Kiki Zhang, And coming on at the last minute, Emma Levy. And I believe I've named all your starters for the Clements Rangers. And for Ridgepoint, I'm a little bit obstructed, but I do see that Madison Flores wearing the white libero jersey is out there along with Kennedy Rogers. Zia Sista. And I'll have to name the others as we go along. Clements is going to serve first. It is Kiki Zhang, and she asked the sub-varsity players to move back. They're kind of ringing the floor, and her serve is in the air, and we are underway, and it's an ace for Clements. They get the first point of this underdog match where not too many people other than they themselves would be giving them a chance to beat the Ridgepoint Panthers. But for Kiki Zhang, that is ace number 62 on the season. Here comes the next serve. She gets it down there in the middle. Flores bumps it up. Now it's going to be a big swing and a winner for Ridgepoint. Jaden Robinson bangs it home. That's her 289th kill of the season. One to one here in the first set, and now Kennedy Rogers will serve, and how high will she toss it? She stands way behind the baseline, and the serve goes way up there about 18 feet, comes in hot, but hits the net. It is one of those... Serves that is hard to control, and it really had a screwball action. It was kind of breaking the opposite of the curveball direction. Now Maggie Myers will serve for Clements. She doesn't want to wait around. The ball is in the air. There it goes. She sends it deep. Rogers bumps it up. Will they send it back to Rogers? Yes, they do. She sits it deep to the middle. Now it's on the Clements side. Kiki Zhang. She set it up for Emma Levy, and she could not get it over the net. So it is two to two, each team with an unforced error. Ridgepoint makes substitutions. They send in Reese Brunton to serve, and Lauren Hollins comes into the game. I think the last match that we broadcasted for Ridgepoint, I don't think Lauren Hollins was on the varsity roster. Now it is Parahar for Clements, tries to get a spike down, but Ridgepoint sends it back. Now a big swing, and Jaden Robinson bangs it home. It's a spike down the alley, and it's good. 3-2, to two, Ridgepoint on top. So now Jaden Robinson with uh, 290 kills on the season as Ridgepoint leads 3-2. to two. Myers bumps up the serve. Now it's going to be a swing by Samantha Van. She gets it down. Samantha Van, whose brother's a pretty good football player for the Rangers in seasons past, makes it 3-3 three to three with that kill. And now Levy is going to serve. 
She wears the navy blue libero jersey. Here goes her serve, and it is bumped up by Rogers. And now there's a swing by Addison Menifee, but Clements is there with the defense. Kiki Zhang is blocked, and that's a winner for Ridge Point. That block going to Lauren Hollins. She's a junior, and they don't list her height on the roster, but she looks like she's, let's see, she's taller than Menifee. The Menifee is 6'1", so I'm guessing that Lauren Hollins is at least 6'3". 4-3 Ridge Point leads. We're in the first of a best-of-five match. And a knuckleball serve comes in, and Maggie Myers bumps it up. Now Van gets to swing. She hits the top of the net, and it doesn't get over, and I think Ridge Point was going to block it anyway. So it is now a two-point lead for the Panthers, 5-3. to three. Jaden Robinson serving, and here it comes. Down the near sideline, and Van bumps it up. She gets it back, and she taps it with finesse over the block. Now it's on the Ridge Point side, and Menifee spikes one. But there is good defense, and a little quick set by Clements. But somehow Ridge Point returned it. Now Zhang back set. And cannot get it down. And Ridge Point wins a skirmish at the net, and it trickles over the top of the net, and they lead it 6-3. to three. Jaden Robinson will continue serving. Here it comes. Maggie Myers bumps it up. Kiki Zhang, a back set. And it sends over to the Ridge Point side, but now the Panthers are going to respond. Now it's on the Clement side once again. Zhang, and from the middle, it's a winner for Maggie Duvall. That ends a string of three straight points. Make it four straight points by the Ridge Point Panthers. Clements trails six to four. Amber Brooks with the signal for her server. Now it is bumped up by Flores. And now it is Menifee who taps it over, but Clements is there with the defense. Big swing by Bella Casal, but she cannot get it down. And Clements sends it over. There's a couple of pinball shots, and it goes off the rafters and lands on the Ridge Point side. Point to the Rangers. Emma Levy, Samantha Van, and also Maggie Duvall, all with quick reflexes to earn that point. And they're down 6-5. to five. Next serve comes in hot, and Flores bumps it up. And now a setup for Lauren Holland. She cannot get it to go down. Samantha Van from the corner gets it. An ace for Samantha Van. And she is already pushing her average of kills per set. And it's 6-6. Six to six. Flores bumps up the serve. Now a big swing for Ridge Point, and it's good. Emery Harper with her, with her first kill of the match. I think she has the longest hair attachments of anybody on the Ridge Point team. Piper Marquette ready to serve. Here it comes. She keeps her feet on the floor as she serves. Myers bumps it up. Now there's a swing by Casal, and it's out. She sends it past the far baseline, the south baseline, here at Clements, and it's eight to six. Marquette serves again. Little knuckleball action on that one. And Duvall gets the winner. It bounced off two pairs of Ridge Point hands, and it redirected itself where no one was there when it hit the floor. Ridge Point still leads, but only eight to seven, and Samantha Van is ready to serve. There it goes with top spin, bumped up by Marquette. Now a back set, and a winner by Emery Harper. Two kills in the last minute, and that puts Ridge Point up nine to seven. Madison Flores, all five, five of her, serves it. Now a set up for Duvall. She gets it blocked right back in her face, and. Clements can't get it back over in the required number of hits. So it's another point for the Panthers, and they lead 10 to 7. Oh. 
Here's the Flores serve, bumped up by Van. Now Levy sets it up for Myers, and she gets a spike that almost flies into the bleachers off of the ridge point forearm, and it's a winner for Clements to get within 10 to eight. Levy goes to the bench, and I didn't see who came in for her. And Maggie Duvall serves, and her serve is long. So an unforced error puts Ridge Point up 11 to 8. Levy comes right back in, and Duvall goes out. And now off the bench for Ridge Point, Madeline Johnson, 5'5 junior. She will serve, spins it, and here it comes. Just over the net, Van bumps it up and overset it, and Kenny Rogers, Kennedy Rogers put it away for Ridge Point. That's her first kill. Kennedy with 469 on the season. 12 to 8, Ridge Point leads it. Madeline Johnson serves again. Here it comes. Van bumps it up. Now it's going to be a swing by Maggie Myers. Goes cross court, but Flores keeps it off the floor, and Rogers down the far sideline, but she missed. And that's, you know, Winston Churchill, I think, once famously said, there is nothing on this earth so exhilarating as to be shot at and missed. Well, when Kennedy Rogers wails on the basketball, or the volleyball, I don't know why I said basketball. It's only October. Anyway, if she misses, you're just thankful. And there's an ace by Kiki Zhang. How about that? And now Clements putting together a rally. They trail 12 to 10. It's a big crowd, but I won't say an overflowing crowd here inside the gym where there's, there are bleachers on only one side of the court. And another ace for Zhang. A lucky bounce. She hit the top of the net, and it just died and fell down on the ridge point side, so it is now 12 to 11. Kiki definitely a favorite among her teammates. And she puts a lot of air under that, and it's another ace! Oh my goodness! Flores took it. She was diving, just trying to get hands under it, but we're tied at 12. We'll be back on fightfortbend.com. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston this January, featuring Olympic medalist Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars. With the action kicking off on January 9th, visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. It's fall, y'all. Head over to First Tire and Automotive for a free tire pressure and tread depth check. There's a store right around the corner from you in the Sugarland area. First Tire and Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. A full synthetic oil change to $60. Oh, my. And more savings on the website. Book your appointment today at firsttireandauto.com. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive Four's convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. All right. Kiki Zhang served again. And the ball goes out. I was kind of looking down at my screen because of some technical things. Suna Venkat, along with Rosie Bega is inside the mothership at Vipe World Headquarters. Just in case we're getting signal drops or anything like that, she is going to make sure those don't continue. All right, Kennedy Rogers throws it 20 feet in the air and her serve is way long. Missed it by about 10 feet. And so it is Ridge Point still leading, but it's it says 14 to 12. No, it's 13 to 12, or is it 13 to 13? Yeah, it's 13 to 13. Maggie Meyer serves, and now down the line, a winner for Ridge Point. Jaden Robinson banged it down, and Emma Levy got a piece of it, but it flew up and hit the rafters. Ridge Point back on top, 14 to 13. Now it's Reese Brunton to serve. Reese with a mini jump as she serves. Levy digs it out. Now Zhang. Now Parahar down the middle. 
Ridgepoint keeps it off the floor, however, and they send it back over with Menifee. Now it's on the Clement side. Fight at the net, and it lands on the Clement side. That was a mismatch. Menifee jumped up for Ridgepoint, and it was Kiki Zhang for Clements. And Addison definitely with a height advantage. 15 to 13 now, Ridgepoint. After winning that battle at the net, Brunton serves. Bumped up by Myers. Now a back set for Zhang. She gets a lot of top spin on it. Goes way wide to the sideline, but Ridgepoint does return it. Clements keeps it in the air. Now a set up for Parahar. Fight at the net. And it's a winner for Parahar of Clements. She is strong. She had 56 blocks coming in, and she started that opportunity to score with a block. Clements serving, but trailing 15 to 14. It seems like they've been down by one or two for the last 10 minutes. Now Rich Point returning the serve. Jaden Robinson taps it up with two hands. Now Levy's going to set it up for Zhang. She hits it over the block. Kenny Rogers digs it out. Now it is Menifee with a big swing, but Myers digs it out for the Clements Rangers, and now there's a whistle. What happened? Too many hits by one team, one player. I think it was uh, Maggie Myers might have hit it twice on the Clements side. So point to the Panthers makes it 16 to 14. Emery Harper has come in again. Now Jaden Robinson serves for Ridge Point. Maggie Myers bumps it up. Now Levy. High in the air, and Van hits it off a block, and it's a Clements winner because that block sent it out of bounds beyond the sideline. And now Natalie Pukasas comes off the bench, and she will serve for Clements. There goes her serve to the deep middle. Flores bumps it up. Now a setup, and a winner, a nice improvised shot by Emery Harper. She didn't exactly get the set where she wanted it, so she had to change the path of her arm swing. And Ridge Point gets that one to make it 17 to 15. Now from the middle of the baseline, they will serve with Piper Marquette. Bumped up by Myers. Now Pukasas. And now Duval sends it over, but Ridge Point keeps it airborne. Kennedy Rogers with her big swing, and it goes off a block and goes out of bounds. After that, point to the Panthers, and it's 18 to 15. I'm hoping that you heard that because you really have to hear the sound of a Kennedy Rogers spike when she gets all of it, just to appreciate it. Marquette serves, bumped up by Levy. Now a set up for Van, goes cross court. Ridge Point blocks it back into the Clement, uh, Clement side. Now it's on the Ridge Point side. Big swing by Emery Harper, but it's long. A break for Clements, it wasn't long by much. That gets the Rangers girls within 18 to 16. They. We're just trying to run down these very talented Ridge Point Panthers and Samantha Van serves. Marquette bumps it up. Now going cross court and Kennedy Rogers kills it. She terminates the ball as head coach Louise Kreit said in our countdown to first serve show. Now Flores to serve with her team leading 19-16. Leave it to Pukasas, to Myers, and her spike attempt going cross court to the deep right corner is out. And it is 20 to 16, Ridge Point on top. Remember, it's always free to listen live or listen later on the VikeFortBend.com podcast where your one and only broadcast home for Fort Bend County high school sports. All right, a setup for Emery Harper, and it goes sideways off of Samantha Van's dig attempt. And that gives Ridge Point a five-point lead, 21 to 16, and timeout is taken by the Clements Rangers. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com right after this. This is Tuesday Night Volleyball presented by the Volleyball School. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. 
Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. All right, so Coach Amber Brooks had to talk things over with her Clements Rangers and try to rescue this first set. They trailed 21 to 16, receiving the Ridge Point serve. Maggie Myers bumps it over, is not able to get on top of the ball. And now a big swing and a winner by Zia Sista, Hey Soul Sista, that makes it 22 to 16. Zia came into the, the game for the first time. You know, it'd really be cool if she got a scholarship to go to Eastern New Mexico because their mascot is the Zias, which is a female Greyhound. Now it's on the Clement side again. Ridge Point trying to continue this rally. They lead 22 to 16. Big swing, Kennedy Rogers, and no stopping that one. Unfortunately for Clements, Alice Zhang, Kiki's sister, got a piece of it. But it didn't work out. Now Flores serves for Ridge Point. Almost goes sideways. Meyer sends it back over, and there is a winner to stop the bleeding, at least temporarily. It is 23-17 Ridge Point after that winner by Maggie Myers of Clements. Now Maggie Duvall ready to serve. She serves from the left side of the baseline. Sends it deep to the middle. Marquette sends it airborne. Now Kennedy Rogers, another kill. She smashed it. And it's a winner that makes it 24 to 17, set point. Coming off the bench for Ridge Point, Madeline Johnson. And she will, for her team, hopefully serve it out. Casal comes out for Clements and she's replaced by Sophie Colinette. Here is Johnson serve for Ridge Point, bumped up by Van. Now a set up for Myers. She goes over the block rather than to try to smash through it. Now Ridge Point attacking Jaden Robinson. She gets the spike winner. Almost kept airborne by Clements, but that'll do it for set number one. 25 to 17. Ridge Point wins the first one. We'll be back on bikefortman.com. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Misha Hancock and Jordan Thompson. Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. It's fall, y'all. Head over to First Tire and Automotive for a free tire pressure and tread depth check. There's a store right around the corner from you in the Sugarland area. First Tire and Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. A full synthetic oil change to $60. Oh, my. And more savings on the website. Book your appointment today at firsttireandauto.com. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive, four's convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. While we get ready for the second set to start, let's talk about rankings. First of all, there are two polls that we pay attention to here on vipefortbend.com. And one of them is the TGCA, that's the Texas Girls Coaches Association poll. And there's a great disparity between that one and the other one that we look at. We'll talk about that in a moment, but the one for TGCA had Dripping Springs leading uh, number one in the state in Class 6A last week, and they still are at 41-2. and two. And everything else we talk about will be a greater Houston team. Grand Oaks, the defending state champion, ranked number three at 34 and six. Their ranking did not change from last week. Cinco Ranch out of Katy, the best team in Region Three according to this poll at 29 and five. And then you got 
Stratford, the Spartans out of Spring Branch ISD. Stratford is almost certainly going to be a Division II entrant because they have the new playoff format this year where they divide up Class 6A into Divisions 1 and 2 for lots of sports other than football. Then you've got Fulcher. They are ranked number 10 in the TGCA poll. 29-6 and six is their record. Bridgeland is 14. Bridgeland in Region 2, so the likes of Fulcher, Ridgepoint, Pearland, not going to see Bridgeland unless and until they both get to Garland for the state championship. Pearland Dawson is at number 16. 28 and 10 is their overall record. And Pearland 35 and 5 right behind them. Dawson beat Pearland in their most recent head-to-head meeting. Cy Ranch, a Region 2 team, is at 34 and 6. And the Woodlands, 31 and 8. They're the only team in the Houston area whose ranking went up in the TGCA. It was up one spot from last week. They are at number 24. And we'll talk about the Texas VBI, or Volleyball Insiders Poll, when we get the break between set two and set three. Our coverage brought to you tonight by Xfinity, First Tyrant Automotive, Leonetti Graphics, and our brand new sponsor, Love Houston. LOVB.com is where you should go to learn about the new professional volleyball league. We got a team in Houston. In fact, it's a team in the Burbs here in Fort Bend. They will play their home matches at the Fort Bend Epicenter. And if you haven't been there, it's a great facility and really looking forward to seeing the action and the crowds as Love Houston launches in January. All right, here we go with set two. Madeline Johnson serves for Ridgepoint. Clement's going to send it back. Parahar fires one, but it goes wide to her right. And out of bounds on the near sideline, one to nothing Ridgepoint. They won the first set, 25 to 17. Madeline Johnson continuing her serve. There it goes with top spin, and it goes sideways off Samantha Van's forearms. And the first two points in this second set go to Ridgepoint. Madeline Johnson on a roll, serves again. Bumped up by Maggie Myers, and now a setup for Van. She was way wide at the sideline, had to go shallow on it. And now Ridgepoint taps it over with Kennedy Rogers. Skirmish at the net, stays on the Clement side. Van is blocked, sends it over. Another skirmish, and this time Parahar wins it for Clements. Their first point of set number two. For Ridgepoint, you have Flores, Madeline Johnson, Marquette, Kennedy Rogers, Jaden Robinson, and there's one other that I'm missing. She's standing right in front of Jaden Robinson. All right, it is Sista, Zia Sista. Okay, now Ridgepoint on the return. Bumped over by Jaden Robinson. Now Clements will try to attack, and they didn't get the set high enough for Parahar, and her attempt goes into the net, so it is now 3-1 to one Ridgepoint. Addison Menifee comes off the bench. More height in, and Piper Marquette goes to the bench. Now Kennedy Rogers right in front of us. How high will she toss it? That's what we're waiting to see. I don't know if she can hear me. How high will it go? There it goes, about 20 feet. She fires, and it's long. Look out down there. So it's kind of like that baseball all-star game way back in the 90s when Randy Johnson threw one about 30 feet up the backstop net with John Cruck batting. And there is a winner by Clements on the serve. Samantha Van gets it to go down. And they made a little victory tunnel for her, and she ran through it. That makes the score 3-3. Three to three. Van from the middle of the baseline. Jumps up in the air and lets it fly, and it crawls over the net, and it's an ace again. I mean, that was ideal. It's, it's almost like it, it hit a bucket of mud and dropped straight down. Ridgepoint could not respond, and now Clements with the lead, 4-3. Top spin, Kennedy Rogers digs out the van serve. Jaden Robinson spikes with her feet on the floor and now Clements can attack. It is Myers, she goes over everybody. Did it touch anyone? No, it didn't. It is out and the point goes to the Panthers and we're tied for all. Zia Sista comes out and Reese Brunton comes in. 
Five foot five serving specialist. There goes her serve. No spin whatsoever on it. And Clements unable to handle it. It was one of those true knuckleballers that was kind of fluttering in. And Rich Point has gained the lead back five to four. Brunton lets it fly. There it goes. No spin whatsoever. And a tap down for Rich Point as Lauren and Hollins was just camping out there in the middle of the net and Clements overset it and she banged it down. Six to four, Ridge Point on top. Brunton ready to serve, she spins it and there it goes with top spin. Bumped up by Levy, now the spike attempt on the run. Myers moving laterally, cannot get it to go down and now Menifee with a spike attempt and it is good for Ridge Point, seven to four. She pasted it right inside the baseline. Brunton ready to serve again, right in front of our broadcast table. Ridge Point on top, seven to four, and they lead one to one to nothing in this best three out of five set match. Ridge Point has it back after serving. Jaden Robinson gets on top of it, but takes something off of it, and Clements is able to return it. And now Maggie Myers is blocked and it stays on the clement side another point to the panthers they're up eight to four brunton ready to serve again with an eight four lead for rich point there goes her serve deep to the middle bumped up by levy now a setup for Myers. She has to go over the block. Really couldn't hammer at home. Jaden Robinson, killer for Ridge Point. Makes it nine to four. You might see a timeout coming up here pretty soon by Amber Brooks, head coach of Clements. Not yet. Brunton ready to serve again. Nine to four Ridge Point and there it goes. Van has her dig attempt go sideways, but Levy is able to get it over on the third hit. Now Ridge Point attacking. Menifee hits it hard. She's blocked, stays on the Clements side, and Clements hits it out. They almost got one to go down. Unfortunately, Parahar was not able to really get on top of the ball. Timeout, Clements. It is 10 to 4. Ridge Point on top. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball. Get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. Lee Netty Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit, nobody does it better than Lee Netty Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lee Netty Graphics, 281-499-4959. Leonetti Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. Coming out of the timeout, Brunton continues serving for Ridge Point, and they get that point as well. Jaden Robinson with an overpowering spike makes it 11 to 4. Ridge Point has scored eight straight points. Brunton serves it to the middle, bumped up by Levy. Now a setup for Parahar, and somehow Ridge Point sent it back over. Now it's on the Clements side, and Clements tries, can't get it to go down with Emma Kwan. Now it's on the Clements side again. Now a setup for Maggie Myers. She fires, and it gets over, but Ridge Point keeps it airborne. And we got a violation on Ridge Point. I think uh, someone put a foot under the net, so. It's a violation that ends that string of eight straight points for the Panthers. And Zia Sista comes in for Brunton. Correction, Addie Flores comes in for Brunton. And someone came in for Zia Sista, but I wasn't sure who it was. 11-5, Clement serving and leading. 
Now they have the ball on their side, and Levy sets it up in the middle for Van. She is blocked by Jaden Robinson, who gives it the Dikembe Matambo finger wag. And she gets a beautiful block right there. It is 12 to 5. And Jaden Robinson will serve. Madeline Johnson was in. I had not noticed that she was in. She comes off, and she's replaced by Emery Harper. Jaden Robinson fires it. Nice dig by Levy and a quick set. Fools Ridge Point. Kiki Zhang pulls it off. Makes it 12 to 6. We have two substitutions for Clements. I think maybe a couple of players that we have not seen thus far tonight. Okay. One of them is Sophie Colonette. She has been in. And Alice Zhang comes in. And she has been also. Just hasn't played all that much. And now it is a point to Clements because Ridge Point was called for a lift or a carry, whichever you prefer to call it. Now Alice Zhang serves it. Bumped up by Menifee. Robinson setting it up for Emery Harper down the left sideline. Can't get it to go down. Now a big swing by Casal of Clements, but Ridge Point is there with the defense. A quick set does not fool Clements. Now they attack. And a swing, and the shot is out by Maggie Duvall. Point to the Panthers. It's now 13 to 6. Menifee comes out, and Piper Marquette comes in. Piper goes to the middle of the baseline for Ridge Point and serves with her team leading 13 to 6. Samantha Van bumps one way up, and there is a winner for Clements as Sophie Collinette banged it down between. The two-player block, one of those was Lauren Hollins and also Jaden Robinson. You can't really go over them. You kind of got to go through them and hope you get a good bounce. 13-8, to eight, Clements trailing and serving. Kennedy Rogers says, enough of that. We're going to get a side out. And if you heard it, it's, uh, it's just a very impressive sound when she crushes the ball. It's kind of like a great NFL punter. 14-8. Ridge Point leading and serving now. Now with her feet on the floor, Samantha Van gets one to go down. Kennedy Rogers was fooled. She was diving to where she thought the ball was going, and one of her teammates deflected it. So she went face down. She's okay. She's tough. Her dad, Sean Rogers, played for the Longhorns, a defensive lineman, and played in the NFL. 14 to 8. Ridge Point leading. Clement serving, swing by Samantha Van, cannot get it down, Flores dug it out, now a back set for Emery Harper, she taps it over the net, but it's wide of the red and white antenna on the far side of the net, point to Clements, makes it 14 to 9. I owe you a little review of that Texas VBI state rankings poll of Class 6A. Kennedy Rogers this time does not wail on it, doesn't terminate the ball. She gently guides it over a Clements block attempt, and that gives Ridge Point its 15th point. Panthers are on top, 15 to 10. We're in the second set. Ridge Point won the first one, 25 to 17. For the Clements Rangers, it may be one of those things where the spirit is willing, but. They just can't quite get over the hump against the very talented Ridge Point Panthers. Madeline Johnson serves for the Panthers. And too many hits on the Clements side. Another point to the Panthers. It's now 16 to 10. Madeline Johnson looks at the bench. Coach Kreit gives her the signal. Myers bumps it up. Now goes cross court to Samantha Van. She cannot get her spike to go down. Now big swing, Kennedy Rogers, he's blocked and it goes out of bounds after the block attempt. And that's another point to the Panthers, 17 to 10. Now that sounded like a blocked punt in the NFL. 17 to 10 and Madeline Johnson fires again with top spin. Myers bumps it up almost to the rafters. Now a big swing, does not get down for Sophie Collinet. Ridge Point with the opportunity, they Nail one to the far left corner, and I'm sorry, I didn't see exactly who did it. I think it was Zia Sista, because they're congratulating her. She spells her first name Z-I-Y-A. The 
Eastern New Mexico Zias. Spell their mascot name Z-I-A with no Y. Big swings to Mantha Van. Took something off of it and got it over the block. She finally gets a point for these Clements Rangers to get it to within 18 to 11. Kiki Zhang comes off the bench and she will serve immediately. She spins it. Her serves in the air and into the net. Kiki doesn't make too many mistakes. But uh, one right there makes it 19 to 11 Ridge Point. How many feet will Kennedy put it into the air? 20 feet higher. The suspense is killing me. There it goes. That's at least 22 feet. Bumped up by Levy. Now Samantha Van cross court. Bumped up by Flores of Ridge Point. Now Johnson sets up Rogers in the middle. But her spike is dug out. And Parahar gets it over the net. Ridge Point trying to get it over. And they do. What a miracle. Now it's on the Clements side. Now Van swings. She's blocked. Stays up. Parahar gets it over. Now Ridge Point will attack. Cross court to Menifee down the line. Myers saves it near the baseline. And it is Pukasas who sends it over for Clements. And finally, Jaden Robinson puts an end to that very entertaining point. Ridge Point gets it to make it 20 to 11. Another high toss coming for Kennedy Rogers. Wow, that's even higher than the one before, but she hits it into the net. Clements gets the point. They're within 20 to 12. And Samantha Van, ready to serve from the middle of the baseline. Steps to her left before she approaches. Sends it down the far sideline, and that's an ace. Kennedy Rogers dug it out near the far sideline, and she hit one that ran along the top of the net like it was a squirrel for about five feet. And then it fell on the Ridge Point side. 20 to 13. Clements trailing and serving with Van. Not much spin as it goes over. And now a swing by Sista. And oh brother, you can't stop that. And it's 21 to 13. She's very tall. Says 6-2 on the roster. She looks taller than that to me. Brunton now serving for Ridge Point. Far sideline. Saved by Van. And now it's Myers who's only able to just bump it over. Dug out by Ridge Point. And Menifee with a winner. She was going to paste it down inside the sideline. Levy tried to keep it alive, but it went off her arm and into the stands. It is 22 to 13. Cinderella's slipper is not fitting just yet. And she may be running out of time. Clements receiving serve, trailing 22 to 13. Now Menifee gets on top of it. She's blocked by Parahar, but it stays on the Clements side and hits the floor. And the point to the Panthers making it 23 to 13. Brunton ready to try and put this one away. With two more points for the Panthers. There it goes, bumped up by Van with two hands. Now to the middle, and they can only just bump it over with Levy. Now a setup for Jaden Robinson. Gets on top of it, and there's no stopping that one. Samantha Van tried to slide her hands under it, but just too quick. And it is set point, 24 to 13. Jaden Robinson kind of threw it hard at Brunton. Maybe she wants to go home. There goes the serve with it being 24 to 13. Clements trying to save it. And there is Pukasos who sends it over, but Ridge Point keeps it alive. And now Menifee goes cross court. Bumped up by Myers. Are they going to set it up for Maggie? Yes, they do. But her shot is long, and that'll do it for set number two. 25 to 13. Ridge Point wins that one. And we'll be back as the Panthers will be going for a sweep here on Tuesday Night Volleyball on VibeFortMen.com, presented by the Volleyball School. Glad to have you with us on VibeFortMen.com. 
It's fall, y'all. Head over to First Tire and Automotive for a free tire pressure and tread depth check. There's a store right around the corner from you in the Sugarland area. First Tire and Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. A full synthetic oil change to $60. Oh, my. And more savings on the website. Book your appointment today at firsttireandauto.com. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive, four's convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high-level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Professional Volleyball is coming to Houston this January. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston Volleyball is Houston's newest professional team. Get ready to watch some of the world's best volleyball players, from Olympic medalists to NCAA champions and international superstars, with the action kicking off on January 9th. Visit lovb.com for more information and tickets for Love Houston matches. Volleyball is the next major league. All right, here we are waiting for set number three to start. Ridge Point has beaten Clements in the first two, 25 to 17 and 25 to 13. And let's take a look at those Texas VBI Volleyball Insider Rankings. They send out new ones every week, and Byron Nelson is their number one, followed by Dripping Springs out of the Austin area. And now we'll stop talking about teams that aren't in the Houston area. Stratford at 32 and 2 is ranked third by VBI. Then you got Fulcher who comes in at number five. They are 28 and six. And behind them is Cinco Ranch at number six. In the other poll, the TGCA won. Cinco Ranch was ahead of both Stratford and Fulcher. Pearland is ranked number seven in the VBI with 33 and five. Defending champion Grand Oaks out of the Conroe District, 32 and six, ranks number eight. Then number nine, you have Cy Ranch. Number 10, the Woodlands. The next Houston area team is Ridge Point at 12. And by the way, the uh, Texas Girls Coaches Association doesn't rank Ridge Point in their top 25, but Ridge Point is number 12 in Texas Volleyball Insiders. Then you got Bridgeland out of Cy Fair. They're in Region 2. They are number 15. And that's it as far as Houston area teams ranked in the TexasVBI.com Insider Poll. I'm sure I didn't say its name exactly right. But speaking of say my name, how about Love Houston? The first professional volleyball league in the United States, and they are going to start play in January. And we've got a team right here in not only Greater Houston, but in Fort Bend County. They will play their matches at the Fort Bend Epicenter. Go to lovb.com to learn more about Love Houston. They're going to be one of the original teams. All right, Clements just trying to keep this one going, trying to avoid the sweep, and Kiki Zhang is going to serve first in set number three. Clements is at the north end now, closer to our broadcast table, and Flores bumps up the serve. And the first spike attempt for Ridge Point is a winner, a clean winner, Jaden Robinson getting it past Maggie Myers, who's a heck of a volleyball player, but when Ridge Point just starts raining down those high velo spikes, there's not much you can do. And now, Kennedy Rogers is gonna serve, and she throws it 20 feet in the air, bumped up by Levy, overset, and a winner by Sista. It makes it two to nothing, Ridge Point. They have not put any points on the board in this third set. Is the scoreboard working? Now the whistle might be to get the scoreboard working. All right, now the scoreboard says one to nothing Ridge Point, but it needs to say two. This 
Canada Rogers going to go ahead and serve? No. Now they fix the scoreboard. It says two to nothing Ridge Point, and now Kennedy Rogers will toss it high, and here it comes. Bumped up by Myers, overset. Jaden Robinson puts it away. It's almost like a serve and volley in tennis. The serve comes in so hot, it's hard not to overset it, like Clements has done the last two points. And then once you do that, there's always some tall ridge point player right on the other side of the net, ready to smash it down. Maggie Myers hits the rafters with her dig. Now it is Parahar back over her head. Now ridge point will have to respond. Jaden Robinson spikes it down the near sideline and it's in there for a point to make it four to nothing. Ridge Point looks like they are very serious about ending this one early. Kennedy Rogers fires it high in the air again and fires it. It is good. Oh, my goodness. It seems like the only defense for the Rangers when she serves it that way is to just let it go and hope it's out. But it is now five to nothing. Here comes her serve again, high toss. Comes in hot, bumped up by Van. Now Zhang back to Van, and she sends it deep to the corner, and Rogers with two hands sends it up in the air, and then Sista gets a winner for Ridge Point. No, she hit it out. Correction. The scoreboard says four to one. I think it should be five to one. Samantha Van ready. There goes her serve. Bumped up by Rogers. It kind of goes sideways. Now Menifee, now Flores. She hit it nowhere near the uh, playing surface. A rare, completely mishandled point by Ridge Point. And they have fixed the scoreboard. They have five, but now Clements has two. Van serves. There it goes. It is long. Six to two Panthers. Brunton comes in, and so does Lauren Hollins. Whenever Brunton comes in, they send her right to the baseline to serve. Here comes her serve, bumped up by Levy. Now Zhang, now Parahar gets it clean. Samara Parahar almost knocks down Coach Brooks. And she goes to the bench. But uh, Coach Brooks is an athlete, you know, former athlete. She kept her feet. Six to three, Clements trails, and now Levy serves. There it goes. Bumped up by Rogers. Now a setup for Rogers, and she gets that to go. And a beautiful save by one of the sub varsity players for Clements, possibly saving my equipment. Seven to three. Jaden Robinson gonna fire it. The tall one serving, here it comes. And another great save by the sub varsity. It's uh, a serve that is out. So, Clements, wait a minute. The self-preservation thing, you know, the instinct to protect myself and the equipment kind of overrode everything. And I didn't give you a good description of that point, but it went to Clements. But as soon as they get the chance to serve, Kiki Zhang, or Alice Zhang, rather, serves it out on the near sideline. So it's now 8-4 to four Ridge Point. And Marquette serves from the middle. Bumped up by Van. Now Alice Zhang sets it up for Maggie Myers, sends it to the corner, but Jaden Robinson gets it in the air, in the air for the Panthers. Now Panthers send it over gently, and Clements can respond with a spike attempt, but Maggie Myers goes over the block rather than hammering it, and there is a winner for Kennedy Rogers. Nothing you can do. Levy with the diving attempt. She did manage to touch it, but that was it. Nine to four, Panthers. Marquette ready to serve, here it comes. To the middle, Levy it goes sideways, look out, they can't keep it up. Hits the floor, another point for the Panthers, it is 10 to four. (laughs) 
Well, unless things turn around dramatically, there will be no storming of the court. We'll be back on VibeFortBend.com. Timeout Clements. They trail 10-4, to 4, trying to avoid a sweep. Xfinity here. How can we help? Hi. Um, my daughter invited her entire class to her birthday party. Can my Wi-Fi handle it? Oh, well, at Xfinity, our latest gateways have tri-band Wi-Fi technology, letting you connect hundreds of devices at once. No way. So if all the kids are watching stuff on their phones while well, their parents are sharing videos online... Yep, go ahead and watch videos. They can all do their thing and party their way. No problem. Oh, we are going to need a bigger cake. Now through October 21st, get Xfinity Gig Internet for $25 a month for two years with unlimited data when you add unlimited mobile. Plus, get Peacock Premium, a $7.99 monthly value included at no extra cost. Visit Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Xfinity, bring on the good stuff. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Gig Wi-Fi requires Xfinity Gateway. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. After promo, regular internet rates apply. Currently $96 a month. Actual speeds vary. We're back to action. Marquette serves for Ridgepoint, which leads 10-4. to 4. Clements trying to keep it alive on their side. Now Maggie Myers bumps it over, sends it deep, bumped up by Flores, and now set up for Kennedy Rogers in another cross-court lethal weapon type of spike. What are you going to do? 11-4. to four. Now Marquette will continue to serve. Here it comes, bumped up by Van. Now Levy. Now it is Pukasas who sends it over, but Ridgepoint will attack. Rogers, off of the attempted block by Clements, gets another winner. Kennedy Rogers dominating this match. That makes it 11 or 12 to 4. And the Marquette service continues through the middle, and it's good. Samantha Van left it alone, just hoping it would sail out, but it landed just inside the line, 13 to four. And now Sophie Sparks comes off the bench for Clements, and she replaces Samantha Van. She bumps up the serve as it comes over, but bumps it a little too far. And Alice Zhang couldn't really do anything with it. And it's a 10-point advantage for Ridgepoint. Already up two sets to one. Marquette serves it. Bumped up by Maggie Myers. Now a big swing and into the net. Maggie Duvall just didn't. She didn't get the high set that she was expecting. And Ridgepoint is on a roll. And Clements just having a hard time getting anything going as Marquette serves again. Myers, Levy back to Myers. She swings, but Flores digs it out on the ridge point side. And now a big swing, a little swing actually, by Kennedy Rogers. And Clements keeps it off the floor. Maggie Myers moving to her right, swings and getting a little frustrated as she hits that one into the net. And it is 16 to 4. Well, Piper Marquette has been serving, seems like uh, for the first nine weeks of the school year almost. And it's a winner for Clements. For once, Ridgepoint is unable to return it. And it is 16 to five, Clements trails. Van took her breather. She comes off the bench and Sophie Sparks goes to sit down again. Myers serves it deep, Flores Takes care of it, and now what happened here? Emery Harper swung on a spike attempt by Ridgepoint, and I, I really don't know what happened. There's a linesman who's kind of obstructing me. Anyway, it's 16 to 6, so Clements back within 10. Kennedy Rogers wanted to get on top of it, but she had to kind of hit it up, and it was four hits without a block attempt being one of those four hits for Ridgepoint. So now it's a nine point set. Clements trailing 16 to seven and Myers sends it to Marquette and Ridgepoint mishandles the serve. Clements on a mini rally here. They're down 16 to eight. Mm. 
Maggie Myers ready to serve. And Flores digs it out for Ridgepoint. Now Marquette sends it deep, leaving now Myers. They got to get it over on this one. Van almost hit it long. Flores dug it out for Ridgepoint. Now Kennedy Rogers with the two-hand tap over. Now it's Clements. Duvall tries, cannot get it to hit the floor. And now Rogers taps it over the block with Finesse. Now Van hits it hard. Flores keeps it up in the air. Rogers. Now Emery Harper, and it's a winner for Ridgepoint. They lead 17 to 8. The assista comes in. Lauren Hollins takes a seat. Flores serves it. It is deep. Myers tries to dig it out. Doesn't hit it clean. And she's just... I feel for her. She's such a good player. I've seen her play so much better. But it's just one of those nights where it's not going to happen for you. 18 to 8, Ridgepoint on top. Maddie Flores sends her serve over and a quick set by Kiki Zhang and results in a Clements point. They get it within 18 to 9 and Parahar comes off the bench. She replaces Levy. We'll see what her presence at the net does for the Clements attack. As Duvall, the redhead, serves. There it goes. Over the top of that and down. A friendly bounce. And she runs through the little human victory tunnel. Timeout taken by Ridgepoint. Their lead has been cut to 18 to 10. They're still going for the sweep. We'll be back on BiteFortMen.com. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball, get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. By the way, Tuesday night volleyball presented by the volleyball school next week will be Foster against Fulcher. All right, Clements coming out of the timeout gets the first point. And so now they're down 18 to 11. And Duval sends it to the middle. Maddie Flores bumps it up with two hands. Now a little tap by Emery Harper, but Parahar responds on the Clements side. Now Ridgepoint attacks again. And that's a winner for Ridgepoint. Just into the match for the first time, it is Caitlin Lee. The junior gets a chance. And she didn't really crush it, but she sent it down the far sideline past the Clements defense. And now serving, it's Emma Paley. Ridgepoint giving everyone a chance to play. Paley sends her serve to Myers. Now Kiki Zhang to Samantha Van. And off of the dig attempt by uh, Madeline Johnson, it goes off the rafters. Sorry, Piper Marquette. So Clements gets within seven again, 19 to 12. And it is Kiki Zhang serving deep to the middle. Marquette sets it up, now Sista battling at the net and a very improvisational shot that's a winner for Ridgepoint and I believe it was um, Emma Paley bumping it back over her head you know the no look and got it down so it is 20 to 12 Ridgepoint leading and they have the serve back and guess who they bring off the bench it's Kennedy Rogers they're five points away from a sweep and keeping their district record perfect here comes Rogers serve Levy bumps it up. Now Zhang, quick set, got it down. So they deny Kennedy Rogers and Ridgepoint 
a point when Rodgers is serving. As you heard Coach cried in the countdown to first serve show, it was 23 points that Kennedy served in the match at Dulles. And Samantha Van hits it into the net. That's unfortunate for Clements. It is now 21 to 13. Ridge Point, four points away from victory. And they bring Brunton off the bench. Reese with a short toss. Now Levy. Now Zhang. Now big swing. Myers! And that's a winner. She's taken out some frustration on the ball right there. She hit it clean. Went sideways off the Ridge Point block attempt. And that gets Clements within seven again. But they haven't been able to get any closer than seven here in the latter stages of this set three. Levy will now serve. There it goes. Bumped up by Rogers. And now it's a winner for Ridge Point as it was Lauren Hollins who hit it hard. By the way, we haven't seen Taylor Johnson tonight. They may be resting her for one reason or another. You heard Coach Kreit mention her in the countdown to first serve show. That point by the Panthers makes it 22 to 14, so they are three points away. Jaden Robinson fires it. And Maggie Myers miss hit it again. And just cringing. I I feel for Maggie. Twenty-three to fourteen. And it appears to be just a matter of time. Jaden Robinson sends her serve over. Sparks digs it out. Now Levy in the middle. Myers hits it hard, but Ridge Point keeps it off the floor. And an emergency hit gets it back over. Now Zhang setting it up for Myers. She hits it and gets a kill. That'll keep it a little closer, 23 to 15, but Ridge Point still closing in on a win. Casal comes off the bench for Clements and she will serve. Bella the ball. Casal. Gets the signal from Coach Brooks, but Ridge Point is not ready. And now the officials say go for it. Casal sends it deep to the middle, dug out by Menifee. And a setup and a winner for Ridge Point as Lauren Hollins puts it away. And now it is match point. 24 to 15. By the way, after the match, we might have an interview with Kennedy Rogers. I don't know if she's going to remember or not. We'll see. 24 to 16, Ridge Point serving. Off Sophie Sparks, over the bench, and that'll do it. 25 to 15, Ridge Point closes out the sweep. They were dominant tonight, and they continue to dominate District 21 6A play. The only team that uh, has not lost more than one is Austin. And Ridge Point plays Austin, I believe, next week. So that will be a sweep for the Panthers. We'll step aside and be back to wrap it up or visit with Kennedy Rogers, one or the other. We shall see. This is VibeFortBend.com Tuesday Night Volleyball, presented by the Volleyball School. We are the volleyball school with three locations, Katy, the Woodlands, and our newest in Richmond on West Belfort. We have the best developmental volleyball program in Fort Bend. We have the high level training you need to get on the top club and school teams, and you'll have fun doing it. Our Richmond facility is at 18120 West Belfort. Visit thevolleyballschool.com and come train with us. Mark your calendars. Professional volleyball is coming to Houston in January 2025. Led by Houston's newest pro team, Love Houston Volleyball, get ready for nonstop action as some of the world's best players take the court. Featuring Olympic medalists Micah Hancock and Jordan Thompson, Love Houston is ready to compete for the season's first championship title. Get your tickets now for this historic first season. Visit LOVB.com today. Volleyball is the next major league. 
It's fall, y'all. Head over to First Tire and Automotive for a free tire pressure and tread depth check. There's a store right around the corner from you in the Sugarland area. First Tire and Automotive prioritizes their customers and employees above all else. Their core values, family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. Wherever your journey leads, reliable auto care is essential. A full synthetic oil change to $60. Oh, my. And more savings on the website. Book your appointment today at firsttireandauto.com. First Tire and Automotive, supporting school and youth sports programs for over 26 years. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive, four's convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Leanetti Graphics, the gold standard in Fort Bend County for screen printing, embroidery, banners, signs, t-shirts, and all kinds of specialty items. Whatever you need to advertise or show school spirit, team spirit, or company spirit. Nobody does it better than Lean Eddie Graphics. We started creating our products in an apartment 23 years ago, and now our state-of-the-art facility in Stafford has everything to make your vision come true. Call your friends at Lean Eddie Graphics, 281-499-4959. Lean Eddie Graphics, the official banner provider for VipeFortBend.com. Tuesday Night Volleyball on VipeFortBend.com, presented by the Volleyball School has been brought to you by Xfinity, home of the 10G Next Generation Network, only from Xfinity. The future starts now by First Tyrant Automotive with four great Fort Bend County locations, including a great one for the Clements folks on Lexington Boulevard, just north of First Colony Mall. We're also brought to you by Leonetti Graphics, the, broadca- the, uh, the official banner provider of VibeFortBend.com. And our brand new sponsor, we are so proud to have a new partnership with Love Houston, L-O-V-B.com, the professional volleyball league that starts in January, and the Houston team will play its games at the Fort Bend Epicenter. So thank you very much for being with us, and we'll have football for you. Thursday night, it is Randall taking on Terry. On Friday night, Fulcher against George Ranch and then Marshall against Iowa Colony in our Saturday matinee that kicks off at 11 a.m. I'm Roger Smith for Rosie Bega and Suna Venkat. Thanks for being with us. It's a sweep for Ridge Point. The score is 25-17, 25-13, and 25-15 as they beat Clements. Good night and God bless from First Colony, and we will talk to you on Thursday night.